Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Friday to all of you. Hope you have a great weekend this weekend. We have some big storms still coming through and it is showing even stronger storms. Tornado chances has ramped up. Even the chances for hail has ramped up and even tornadoes for tomorrow. Plus there's so many warnings everywhere, it's unbelievable. Plus the West Coast is under winter storm watch because we have this second storm coming around the 15th. Now problems has already started, so let me get into the forecast, guys. If you've never been here before, hello, my name is Mark. I do upload every single day, just not Friday from sundown to sundown Saturday. That is Sabbath. But I will make sure you're always covered. Make sure you check all the videos on my channel. I cover all kind of topics. Been here for seven years, going nowhere. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. This channel is only a year old, but we are growing fast. But always make sure you listen to the special message at the end of the video. Link is in the description for that. Matter of fact, all the links are in the description to help save you time. Make sure you use them if you need them. Now, the pattern that we're going into is a very high ridge on both storms. The first one's first relaxed that we get through now. Texas is already dealing with winds, Oklahoma. The storm is going to go all day, all weekend long. Big tornado threat has grown up, and it will go to the northeast and the southeast with some storms as well. well they will mild down, but it still will be a problem. We have a big warm-up coming right after that. Then on right around the 14th and 15th, we have another big atmospheric river that's still happening on the west coast told you about yesterday and it's going to swoop up to a very strong storm and go up to the midwest and this is bringing 100 miles per hour winds as of yesterday as of today it's almost 110 even 115 plus our tornado chances has ramped up even bigger areas guys and it's going to group up all afternoon long for friday very much overnight for saturday and overnight for tennessee and kentucky matter of fact there is flood warnings for you guys so you got to be aware of a lot of rainfall coming and the chances for these tornadoes now all the weather models have been picking up a lot of damage and winds that is coming with this first and second storm 50 60 even 70 miles per hour winds some have shown that that second storm could take a wide turn towards midwest and ohio valley so it's not just going to the midwest it could relax down and be a bigger problem and the euro is still picking up over 100 miles per hour wind gust that is coming with this second system it will be a strong storm and that right there is already showing over 100 and almost 115 miles per hour and remember this link will be in the description so you can go check on alert for your county and your area because there is so much going on you have frost advisories you have winter storm watches on the west coast you have high wind everywhere extremely high wind in a lot of places you have your winter storm warnings you have your winter weather advisories you just have so much going on please go to the link in the description so you can see what your county is going to be and when we look at nao the north atlantic oscillation let's know if we have a high ridge or deep trough towards the east side of our country it does confirm that right if we go past this first storm we're going to go all the way up to a very high ridge all the way to the 15th then go down to a trough so i'm still showing that some cold air can come with this storm as it comes around the 20s guys and the gfs is even confirming this very high ridge on the 15th this very high ridge is what's bringing these very much hurricane force winds on that second storm so far when we check on that high wind so far it does show that sometime around New Mexico, Colorado, Utah, and Nevada, keep your heads up, even the northern part of Texas and Oklahoma. But sometime around the 15th, when it goes from midnight to 6 a.m. on the 15th, is when that high wind is going to kick in for that second storm. Now, National Weather Service has grown the area for tornadoes. Instead of barely going to the Ohio Valley because it's pulling all this tropical moisture up, now it has a chance for tornadoes all the way into northern Illinois, southern Michigan, all the way around to central ohio all the way down to texas and louisiana the big marginal area then you got a big slight risk that's still going to the upper half of the ohio valley all the way down to texas and enhance has even grown as well matter of fact i predict that this will even tap up a little bit higher in a little area right here for a very strong chance for tornadoes tennessee and kentucky you have a big 5% area of high winds for the marginal for tornadoes, and a slight risk has a big 15% chance for damage and winds, and a 30% chance for the enhanced section. And the hail has grown as well. You see a big hot spot of chances for hail in all this 15 right here. So if you're in this area, be aware that it could be hail. Make sure you park in a garage, cover your vehicles. But I really believe that tornado chances will grow, guys. You have this big 2% in the green, 5% and all this brown and a slight risk and enhanced risk is all this big area with a significant chance as well i really believe that's going to be bumped up but here's your cities and your states for your tornado threat for today and this line right here on top is your significant chance for tornadoes 
And this is going to carry over into tomorrow as well. This is showing a lot of energy, guys. But you got a marginal risk now in this green for chances for tornadoes and severe weather. And in this yellow right here is your slight risk. And there is a big chance for hail as well right across Tennessee, Kentucky, southern Ohio, and northern Mississippi, northern Alabama. 5% chance for hail. And the winds will carry with that in the very same areas. But your chances for tornadoes is so far 2% in all this green. This is where all your dew points is going to carry up to. And then you have 5% chance right here in this brown. For tomorrow, here's your 2% and your 5% chance for tornadoes. Flash flooding is going to be a big risk as well. For today, you have a big marginal section for a chance for flash flooding. Tomorrow is going to grow from Louisiana all the way towards western North Carolina. Big chance for marginal for flash flooding. And you got a big marginal section on the west coast as well for Oregon and northern California. That's because that second system coming in is going to steadily be feeding this atmospheric uh, river for a few days. And on Sunday, it's going to continue in southern Oregon and start making its way down California. Big chance for flash flooding. So just remember, if you have any burn scars over there, be careful for mudslides and everything that can happen with those burn scars as well. And when you look the next two and a half days in AM 3K, you can see how this atmospheric river will be affecting y'all on the west coast. It's going to go all down Washington, all down Oregon, and then all down California. And it's going to reach the northern end of California by Saturday at 10 a.m. Then it's going to start going all down California with the heavy snowfall and the rainfall as well. And I know y'all need that precipitation, so it will be coming. And when you look with the 12K, so you can see the next three days, three and a half days, you can see it continues to go down southern California with the atmospheric river. So there will be a lot more snowfall and rainfall coming your way as well. As well as this big storm that's just sitting there brewing, bringing all these problems. And good news. All that rain. Now, so far through this first storm, the whole event of the wind gusts is going to bring Texas, Louisiana, and northern Mississippi and Alabama. Thir high 30s, maybe 40 miles per hour wind gusts. It will pick up as it goes through New Mexico, Panhandle of Texas, and portions of Oklahoma for 50 and 60. But it don't get strengthened up till it goes on a higher ridge when it leaves Missouri. So that's why you see a little bit for eastern Kansas. You see a little bit for Missouri before it gets kicked in for the Ohio Valley where it's gonna get a lot of wind gusts. But everybody in the whole area, if you're not getting 50s or 60s, you're definitely getting high 30s to 40s. And when you look at the tornado perimeters to see what all these dew points are, are doing with all these Cape values strengthening up, you see it really starts to boom up around, around 10 a.m. for eastern Texas, northern Louisiana, eastern Oklahoma. When it gets around one, two o'clock, then it's gonna strengthen up real strong for tornadoes all across Arkansas, southern Missouri, eastern Oklahoma all the way to 8 p.m. Then it's going to go towards Ohio Valley. And you still got a lot of strength in all this red right here. So just because you're not seeing the purple, that don't mean you don't have chances for tornadoes. You got chances all night long, all the way into the morning for tomorrow when the sun comes up. By 11 o'clock tonight, it's going to go from Missouri, Arkansas, over to Illinois and Indiana. Then it's going to burst up again for Kentucky and Tennessee, northern Mississippi. I'll show you the area. There's a lot of tornadoes coming, guys. And once we get to later tonight, then it's going to boom up to these nocturnals that we've been talking about overnight, all night long, until tomorrow morning. So all morning long, you're going to be getting some storms. They're going to be getting some snow in the Midwest. And these storms aren't going to get too serious until you start getting into the afternoon. Then you're going to start getting these little rogue cells building up and start intensifying, especially with daytime heating, all that strong dew points going towards Ohio Valley. And once you get into later tonight, 10, 11 o'clock, then Ohio Valley is really going to burst up with a chance for tornadoes, big supercells passing through. And as it comes back in the morning, you're still going to get it for eastern Texas, northern Louisiana, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Some more storms are going to brew up. It's going to stretch across Mississippi all the way till 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And you can see as it raises up, you got a bunch of 60s raising up towards Ohio Valley. You still got 70s all in the south, Texas. Louisiana, Mississippi. As it goes towards Ohio Valley, now you're getting this cold front coming down. You got big 60 dew points going all the way up. And these 60s can create these thunderstorms to where it can be severe for tornadoes, guys. The 50s are pretty bad as well for thunderstorms, maybe for Chicago and such. But this tornado chance has really grown. Look at it. 60s go high into the Ohio Valley, all the way across the center of Ohio with 60s. So wherever you see those 60s, that's where the atmosphere is really ripe. For tornadoes to burst up then as it weakens back down it goes back down towards kentucky tennessee then it still carries all these 60s all the way around that's why you still see that tornado chance and you can see how widespread the chances for these tornadoes are all night long friday 
going into Saturday, overnight, still storming. Everybody's got a lot of chances of tornadoes. I've seen so many tornadoes pop up just with this right here type of atmosphere. But look what you got. You got a lot bigger of an atmosphere coming. And it is strong. It has a lot of instability, especially for Missouri. It gets strong around Missouri. Missouri, you better watch out for them tornadoes because you get a lot of instability. And that carries into southern Illinois, southern Indiana. Starts winding down towards Kentucky. But, boy, y'all still got a good chance because there's a lot of instability, a lot of dew points. The atmosphere is still ripe. So don't let your guard down <laughs> just because you're only in the red. That's still a very good chance. And you see after it winds down for Kentucky and Tennessee, then you still got the chance for Alabama. Still hold on to, for a chance, chance for tornadoes in Alabama. Maybe a little bit of northwest uh, Georgia. Not much. You got ones and twos. But it does carry down Alabama for Saturday. And you see for the Ohio Valley, as the storms come through all morning long, it's not too rough. But once you get into the afternoon, once that daytime heating really kicks in, you start getting some convective activity. You're getting some freezing rain, some sleet, some ice, heavy snowfall, of course. But you're getting some storms starting to pop up, especially for Illinois first. Eastern Iowa, Illinois, around 3 p.m., these storms are really going to start kicking in, going towards southern Wisconsin and Indiana around 5 p.m. Then that's going to carry towards Michigan, and Michigan especially is going to get some on the west end of Michigan, a little bit of freezing rain as well. Then these little rogue cells that you see down here are going to pop up across the south. And that's when you got your chance for your convective activity when these storms come back down with this cold front and it really smashes up and intensifies. Might even have a chance for a duratio if that goes across multiple states right there. Right into midnight. This is your shot for midnight, guys. You got storms in southern Wisconsin, western Michigan, Indiana, all across Illinois. And you got a big line going all the way down to Arkansas. And that's going to bring damaging winds with this, guys. Look. All night long, early morning hours, still going. Now you're going into part portions of western New York by 4 or 5 a.m. And you get another band carrying into Indiana, going into Ohio, after they just got a band. Why are you getting the rest of that weather going across the south? Kentucky, Tennessee, northern Alabama, Mississippi, especially by 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And this will continue to go to the east, southeast. Look at that long band. That's 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Still seeing these storms, guys. From the edge of West Virginia all the way down to southern Mississippi. A big line of storms is going to brew up. And it's going to weaken as it goes down. But as you can see, your dew points does carry to the south of Alabama and Georgia towards 8, 9 p.m. tomorrow. So there's still some storms that is coming through as this leaves. So don't let your guard down. Look at these little rogue cells around 9, 10 p.m. for tomorrow for North Carolina as it leaves and we all know these things strengthen usually on the way out when it gets closer to that water it gets so excited big storm guys please be prepared for this please have batteries on stock in case you lose lose power outage stay inside if you can get things out of your yard no projectiles it'd be a lot safer that way and a full run through for the ohio valley is where the winds really start to pick up everybody else is still seeing 40 and 45 mile, miles per hour wind gusts even in the midwest but it really picks up from Michigan, Ohio Valley, and the Northeast. This is where you start getting your 50 and your 60 miles per hour wind gusts. You can see how it strengthens as it goes. You're getting 70 in the lakes, and you're also getting 30s and 40s for the Mid-Atlantic. Mostly 30s in the, in the Deep South, high 30s. But it looks like it gets more towards 40s when you go towards the Mid-Atlantic, and then 50s towards Northeast again. But for the Southeast, as you're going through this morning, the tornado chances start to pop up around 10, 11 o'clock. You get a daytime heating. And you see it goes across the center of Mississippi through northern Mississippi. Then it goes through the northwestern half of Alabama. So watch out. It could be some cells that pop up for y'all. Then as it goes all night long till 2 a.m. tomorrow morning, still in northern Louisiana, still in northern Mississippi. Then it's going to come back down. You still got another chance as it comes down Alabama for Saturday. Around 8 o'clock in the morning, it's going to start being just Alabama all the way until 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe even longer. Be aware of that, Alabama. You're looking like you have the last of the instability. And you can see this on the reflectivity. You have these little rogue cells passing through. And from time to time, nothing really big. But those little rogue cells can be tornadoes. Just be aware of that. Then as the daytime goes on, then when it comes back and you have that serious event again, then you've got these little rogue cells going all across Texas and Louisiana. And those will carry into Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, you got a big line. That line stretches all the way from Ohio by noon on Saturday 
all the way to around Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Louisiana. That is a big line of storms, guys. Remember, this is not over just because you are in the red for tornadoes. Just because you're not in the pink don't mean anything. So it does come down to Alabama all the way till 5 p.m. Then once you get into about 1 p.m. on Saturday, and then Georgia, northern Georgia, you're going to get into these storms as it goes down to the east, southeast. The upstate South Carolina, maybe around 5 p.m. on Saturday, but you can see how it calms down for you. Not much instability there, but it does stretch all the way out towards Maryland and New Jersey. Not really bad, but you do have some rogue cells, especially for North Carolina. You need to think about as far as what could be for tornadoes. It looks like some good spot ups that could spin up a tornado or two. Now, these storms could easily be before this pattern or a little bit after this pattern, but this pattern gives us a good look. Then on the way out, 5 a.m. on Sunday, South Carolina, it looks like you could get a rogue cell that come out of you as well. So make sure Columbia over there, you might want to be aware of these cells passing through Sunday morning. But just full swath through of these storms is not going to be that bad for the southeast. You do have high 30s and 40s possible for the upper half of the deep south. But you see how the line draws around the center of Tennessee, 40s to 50s. Everybody else is in high 30s to 40s. And as far as what we have for the Northeast, because you are under the chance for tornadoes, it looks like it carries over from Eastern Ohio from 11 a.m. on Sunday all the way to Western Pennsylvania, all the way to about 2 p.m. when it might have a little spurge of energy that might do something before it dissipates at 3. And you see how the tornado chances really don't carry over towards uh, Jersey or the New England states. Even though you have a chance for tornadoes, it looks like it stops around North Carolina and Virginia, the last part being 8 p.m. on Saturday. Very weak chance of tornadoes, but a chance is a chance, guys. But it is a small chance that y'all have anything. But you do have storms coming northeast. It will take y'all all the way till 9 o'clock tonight before it finally starts coming into Pennsylvania. Regular thunderstorms, nothing serious. While well, you get some serious ones around West Virginia overnight into 1 a.m., and that passes through the northeast as well. Now, most of these storms for the Northeast is going to be intercoastal, mostly for northern Pennsylvania, western New York, all the way till 7 o'clock on Saturday. And you do have a switchover around 8 a.m. tomorrow for New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, where you got thunderstorms and you got some chances for freezing rain as well. And it has been showing that for a long time. Uh, Long Island, New Jersey, maybe 7 a.m. on Saturday. You might see some storms come through. Nothing too severe. Then by 10 a.m. on Saturday, a band's coming back down eastern Ohio, western Pennsylvania. Then you got a chance for more storms, West Virginia, by 1 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. And that will stretch all the way down towards North Carolina and Virginia. Will weaken down some. You don't see a lot of that red in there. It's all the way by 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturday. Then the storms will come down towards southern New Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, uh, Virginia and a little strip of North Carolina also all the way till 8 p.m. on Saturday. Then it's just a tip of Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina by Saturday at 9 p.m. and then all night long for North Carolina strengthening up right at midnight into Sunday morning. But your full swath through shows some of the worst actually. I mean you have big 70 and 80 miles per hour wind gusts offshore. You got it for the lakes. But y'all got a big widespread 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts coming all across y'all. It stops being from 40s to 50s, somewhere around Virginia, so North Carolina looking at 40s, but Maryland, Delaware, Long Island, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, especially Boston, it looks in the high 60s for Boston, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, y'all all look like y'all at least 50 miles per hour wind gusts. All this red is 60. And all the totals between both models, American and Euro, are almost the same, guys. We show widespread strips of one inch, a little bit, maybe one and a half inch across the Tennessee Valley and the Deep South. Ohio Valley, one inch, maybe two inches for northern Indiana and Ohio, as well as Midwest a little bit. But it's not a whole bunch of precipitation. A lot of it's going to be the flooding because it's been soaked already. Showing heavy amounts for Idaho, heavy amounts within the next four days for the whole west coast now remember you go to his link you click on this you click on local and you click on your state and see what your precipitation is your snowfall your ice everything euro is showing the same thing a little bit heavier for kentucky but show it's going to be widespread one inch strips from these storms and it will be some good rainfall a lot of damage and winds and the tornado threat so it's going to be a widespread pocket of one inches plus the midwest and it's showing idaho as well very heavy and the west coast also and the GFS confirms that this heaviness of rainfall will go all down California. This is still going to put that 
six to ten feet in higher elevations of California of snowfall. But all this rainfall will help with y'all drought, guys, and it is coming further south just a couple of days later. Even the euro is showing it, and it's showing it a little bit further. So remember, go click on your state on any one of these links. They're there for you. And they're still showing that we have ice in Iowa and Wisconsin and Maine and parts of New Hampshire. But on, since we're on that high ridge, all this ice went into Canada. So Canada, beware, you have a lot of ice as well coming with a lot of snowfall. If y'all want to go see y'all ice if you're in these places, click on your state. The euros are green. It's Iowa, Wisconsin, a little bit more for the New England states and, and Maine. A lot of it is going to be in Canada. Do this for your snowfall as well. This is with the GFS. Make sure you go to your state, guys. We have major snowfall up to two feet for Idaho. Higher elevations of California, Oregon, and Washington is just bonkers. We get a lot of snow in Colorado, so hopefully Denver will see that. I know they've been getting a little bit, which is good, but it's not what they want. Hopefully you get a lot more, guys. But it is showing widespread. All this blue is one to five inches. But all this pink is anywhere from 6 to 10 inches of snowfall. And this dark red right here is over a foot. So there's a lot of heavy snow, especially going towards Canada with all that ice. All that's going to be ice and all that's going to be major snowfall. There's going to be a lot going on. And it's good to see both models in agreements, guys. It's showing the same data, same places as the previous model, same amounts, just a little bit further south with the Euro as far as Wisconsin goes with the snowfall. But it's starting to show more and more that warm up is rising up. So I believe the GFS that is not gonna to reach too far to Southern uh, Wisconsin with that snowfall, as well as Canada. Whole bunch of major snowfall coming with all that ice. And that is the update guys. So I hope that helped you in any way, every way. God bless every single one of you and your families. I pray you will be safe. Please share this on social media. Help spread the word to what the weather is and to what's coming, guys. We still have a lot more coming, and this show is getting stronger and stronger every day. Thank you again for visiting my channel today. If you've never been here before, this is the best part of my channel, my opinion, and probably a bunch of others as well. Psalm 128. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord, that walketh in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thine hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thine house. Thy children like olive plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yes, thou shalt see thy children's children, and peace upon Israel. Amen. <laughs> God bless all of you on this Friday, on whoever's taking their Sabbath out there. I hope you have a very peaceful and a joyful Sabbath, especially in your home. And if you've never been here before, I'll put a little something special at the end, give you a little strength, hopefully a little encouragement to do what you feel is right. All power. <laughs> all glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. <laughs> And this is our day of rest. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a very blessed weekend. Have a very safe weekend. Have a very fun weekend for those wanting all this weather that we're getting. Because we are getting bunches. <laughs> and if you've never been here before.